Judges dismissed a lawsuit against the Chargers for leaving the city of San Diego. That lawsuit was filed by Ruth Henricks, who brought the lawsuit on behalf of the city as a taxpayer. The CBS 8's Kirsten Holmes was in the courtroom for the judge's decision. She joins us now live with more. Kirsten. We're here at the Hall of Justice in downtown San Diego, where in proceedings that lasted a little less than an hour, the judge heard from attorneys representing the Chargers, the NFL, and Ruth Hendricks over whether or not the city of San Diego was owed any money after the Chargers left. Now, the Chargers and the NFL filed a motion to have this case dismissed about a month ago, and today, the judge sided with the NFL and the Chargers, and that case has been dismissed. From hearing the argument I heard today, I just don't see how you get around the statute of limitations as pled in the complaint. And with that, Judge Carolyn Gaetti dismissed Ruth Henrich's lawsuit that claimed the San Diego Chargers had secret plans to move to Los Angeles. Maria Severson, Henrich's attorney, says... The city of St. Louis was able to obtain $790 million in a lawsuit for violations of the NFL's relocation policy. We believe the city of San Diego deserves that chance. After supporting the Chargers for 50 years through the fans and the city, through city resources, funds, commitments, and time. In California, taxpayers have standing to bring lawsuits on behalf of a public entity to get back funds or some type of damages that the city uh, incurred. Henrik's attorney argued the Chargers had secret plans to move to L.A. and breach their contract with the city of San Diego. The city of San Diego did not join Henrik's in the lawsuit. The attorney for the city was in court sitting with the Chargers legal team. He didn't speak on camera but said in court. The, the city was named as the tenant of ruling note as a necessary defendant. Uh, I don't have anything to add to plaintiff's argument today. Mark Zabrowski, the attorney representing the Chargers, said previously that the city of San Diego originally agreed to the Chargers leaving the city and secured substantial concessions, including a large termination fee, in the event of the Chargers' relocation. The agreements that made clear from 2004 forward that the Chargers could leave, the entire theory of some sort of tolling or delayed accrual makes no sense. The law is clear that there is no standing on the part of this taxpayer to raise these claims. Okay, so Hendrick's attorney says they are not giving up and they do plan to file an appeal. We'll keep you posted on that. Reporting live for CBS 8, I'm Kirsten Holmes. Back to you. Uh, Kirsten, a lot of Chargers fans are disappointed by that, uh, but they're also very interested in the details of this case. Uh, we know there are a lot of them. Where can they go to get a little more information on this? Yeah, so we have the legal documents that the NFL filed on this case asking for it to get dismissed on our website, CBS8.com. It's some pretty interesting reading if you want to peruse that. All right, Kirsten, thanks.